Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. In this month's installment of the American Cars Collection from D'Agostini Collectibles, I received pack number 13, and this included four more cars, cars number 47 through 50. If you haven't done so already, head over to D'Agostini Collectibles and check out this collection. It's a very unique collection, and you won't find one anywhere else. They're all 43rd scale and die cast. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to the American Cars Collection from D'Agostini Collectibles. In this month, which is pack 13, I received four more cars. Cars number 47, 48, 49, and 50. Let's look at the magazine here first. So this is the representative of car 47, which is the Vega Yanko Stinger Coupe from 1972. So my mom actually had a Vega just like this, and it brings back lots of fond memories of riding inside of that car. How It wasn't the Yanko, it was just a factory uh, Vega that was out there. But the magazines are very cool here. Semi-gloss pages, 12 to 13 front and back. Lots of research was done by Diagostini on the articles here. Lots of wonderful photographs and history here. I love the centerfold pictures here. That is a fantastic looking Yanko Vega. Very nice. Moving on. Very cool article about Pikes Peak Hill Climb up there in Colorado. And they always give us an article about what's happening in, in the news. This represents uh, the 15th of March. 1972, the Corleone family, right? The Godfather. All right, let's start looking at the cars. And here's the Yanko Vega. The Pontiac GTO Royal Bobcat from 69. Ford GT MK1 from 1967 and lastly the Mercury Marauder X100 from 1969 And welcome back. Let's look at car 47, which is the Vega Yanko Stinger Coupe from 1972. And here it is in its case. And looks like the Superstition Mountains in the background out there in a Apache Junction, Mesa, Arizona. Let's take the cover off. Get a closer look at the car. And the graphics are fantastic on this. It has the, the Yanko graphics, the pinstriping, the racing stripes, driver's mirror, raised white wall tires, hood stripe, black interior, windshield wipers, chrome wheels, chrome accent wheels, right? Very nice. The exhaust system coming out the one side there and I like the the back of it it's wonderful look at the top lots of memories in this car I rode rode around all over the country in this car fantastic let's look at car 48 next And welcome back. This is car 48, the Pontiac GTO Royal Bobcat from 1968 to 1969. Now here it is in its case. This car is a rarity. I would never see him on the road. Looks like we have either Arizona or New Mexico in the background. El Charo 
Mexican restaurant and I know we have those out here in uh, Tucson. So let me take the display case off and we'll get a closer look at this car. And here's a close-up of the car. I love the finish on this. It has a light blue metallic finish with white accents. I love the red pinstripes on the tires, the aluminum colored five-spoke wheels, black interior. Wow, that's a GTO for you. It has a GTO stance. Antenna. Wow. And dual exhaust coming up here. Nice. Love the look of this car. See the metallic finish there? Great. This is a wonderful car and a very rarity. I never see them in any other scale out there, so that's very nice. Let's look at the next car, car number 49. Let's look at the next car, car number 49, which is the Ford GT40 MK1 from 1967. This car was made famous in the 24 Hour of Le Mans. And here's a close up of the car in 143rd scale. Wonderful. Inside the display case, we have a background there. I can't quite tell where it's from. Looks like it could be from either the Boston area or San Francisco. You tell me in the comments below. We'll go ahead and take the display case off and we'll get a closer look at the car. And this is the car made famous in the 24 hour of Le Mans, which is the Ford GT. And if you all saw the movie uh, Ford versus Ferrari, this car is featured in that movie also. I love the graphics on this. The wire wheels are very cool on this too. Dual exhaust in the back, coming right there down the middle. Black interior, shot of the carburetors on top of the engine in the back there. This is raw sports car right there. Lots of horsepower involved here. Fantastic car, 143rd scale. I love it. Great looking car. There you go. So let's go ahead and look at the final car we received this month, which is car number 50. Here's car number 50, the Mercury Marauder X100 from 1969. This is the final car we received in pack 13. And here it is in its display case. We have Hollywood, California in the background there. Looks like Grumman's Chinese Theater. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at the car. This car definitely has some weight to it. I love the dark red finish, the white pinstriping, white wall tires, hidden headlights, windshield wipers, driver's mirror, red interior, wooden steering wheel, top of it, fantastic, that looks great. Dual exhaust, very nice. And there you go. That's all four cars in the collection for pack 13. I'll be right back. And there you have it. That was a review of Pack 13 from the Diagostini Collectibles American Cars Collection. We received the Vega, the GTO, the Mercury, and the Ford GT. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and please give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next shipment 
which will be coming here very shortly. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.